I'm Kaysen with Trivan Truck Body in Ferndale, Washington. Today, we're delivering a 19-passenger prisoner transport bus to the Franklin County Sheriff's Department here in Pasco, Washington. I'd love to take you for a quick tour of it. The chassis was provided by the customer. It's an F550 with a diesel automatic transmission and four-wheel drive. The aluminum body was built at our shop in Ferndale, Washington, and it was designed in consultation with the customer. So every detail on here was developed with input from the customer. At the right and left rear corners of the truck, we've got two isolation cells. Each of them has, of course, an exterior door and then an interior secondary door. You'll note these are constructed, constructed of aluminum. Everything on the interior is covered with bed liner. So no matter how nasty things get in here, it's always gonna be salvageable and clean upable. Camera in the upper corner that connects to a monitor in the front. And it's the same thing on the other side. There's a good number of storage compartments on the outside of the truck and we've taken advantage of a lot of the space that's made available under the interior benches. So let's take a look here. You'll notice that there's LED lighting that lights up as soon as you open a door. And then we've got adjustable height shelves. And then this area here covers the entire area inside the vehicle underneath the interior benches. LED lighting at all locations on the outside, both the DOT lighting and the scene lighting. Those LED lights at the back, they illuminate whenever the back door is open. Same thing on the side door. Whenever, those, whenever that door opens, those lights illuminate. Right now, they're turned on by an override switch on the console inside the cab. The left side of the truck is set up very similarly to the right side, with the notable difference of the left front compartment, which is much more spacious. This has got a full height storage compartment and full width that section takes advantage of the space inside adjustable height shelves coat hooks and a place to store large items now let's take a look inside the front compartment has got seating for five like the rest of the interior all aluminum construction there's a flip out step to get inside everything covered with bed liner all formed aluminum construction. Now let's take a look in the main area here. The main area here has seating for 12, along with six along each side. Again, all aluminum construction, bed liner on all surfaces, air conditioning ducts immediately above the passenger's heads on each side. At the right front corner, we've got your monitor camera, as well as a removable wire chase that would allow you to upgrade or repair or replace wiring and cameras. On the other side of that wall is the camera for the front cell. So all camera wiring is very easily accessible in this truck. Bright LED lighting on the interior, and that's separated on two switches. So you can have dim lighting and full strength lighting. Ceiling speaker there with which Deputies in the front can communicate to inmates back here. And then a passageway to the very outside of the vehicle. Here we've got the interior doors to those two isolation cells. It's not intended that those would be used as regular passageway into those cells. That's just to get out in the event of something that would cover the rear doors of the truck. You'll notice that the windows are covered with these aluminum security grates. We've got a laser cut pattern in there and they're covered in bed liner and then attached with those security screws. And it's similar construction to these partition doors, which are also uh, formed aluminum with laser cut holes. And on these, we've got plexiglass in behind there, just so that you can't be spitting in deputies' faces through those doors. So to summarize, very strong construction, really easy to clean out. The intent behind this is that it lasts a long time and suffer all kinds of abuse and still keep functioning just like it should for many years. In the cab, we've got a console that we built that's got controls for all the functions in the main body module. 
So on the lower left corner, you can see there climate control, warning lights for compartment door open or main door open. Then you've got controls for the PA in the back as well as the microphone over here. And you can communicate to inmates in the back. On the top row, we've got switches for the emergency lights in the, in the grill. We've got roadside, curbside, and rear scene lighting. And then two banks of lights that you can use to illuminate inside the back. So one is just regular, they call driving lights, which is just a single light in the main area. And then dome lights, lights everything else up. As you can see here, you've got video monitoring of all the cells in the back, as well as when you put the vehicle in reverse, uh, you get a backup camera there as well. We've got handgun storage here on both sides. And then in the back, right behind here, long gun storage. And that's electrically controlled by a, a switch that's hidden on the console. And all of that can be easily shut off by a master switch right below the driver's seat. That's a pretty brief tour of a tri-van built prisoner transport unit. We can configure them in so many different ways. If you've got a specialty vehicle project you're working on, please call us at 360-380-0773. We'd love to talk to you. Thanks for watching.